Welcome to Punk the Web. I am Dharma Kelleher and I am a developer at Kelleher Web Design. And today we are starting a series on developing your own theme for WordPress. And I'm going on a couple of assumptions here. One is that you have uh, a computer where you've uh, either a, a server basically where you can install WordPress and the other is that you've already got WordPress installed. If that is not the case and you're having trouble figuring it out, I'm hopefully we'll put a link somewhere that uh, will give you a link to a tutorial that will help walk you through that. But in the meantime, I'm going to go on the assumption that WordPress is already installed and you have something that looks a little bit like what's on the screen here. We've got the header up here, we've got the big um, picture here, we got the navigation menu, and we've got our first post that comes automatically installed with WordPress. That said, uh, let's get going here. Now, this of course is the front end of WordPress, and we're going to be working mostly on the back end, which is the site admin side. Now, if you, uh, in order to get to the site admin, you have to go up to the URL bar here, uh, up at the top here, and type in WP admin. Now, I'm not gonna. I'm gonna back that up here because we already have it open on in a window. There we go. And this is the admin screen. And to get to the admin screen, of course, you have to log in. But we'll assume that you already can do that. All right. Here we go. Now. Uh, what we're going to do in this initial episode is rather than doing any theme development first, we want to create some content and modify some settings so that when we do create our theme, we have something to display. So let's start off by creating some posts. And as you saw, that WordPress comes installed with a kind of generic Hello World post already. We're going to add a couple more just, just to fill out the content a little bit. And we'll call this my second post. And I'm going to add some generic content. This is lorem ipsum at lipsum.com. And this just kind of creates some text filler. And I am going to copy this. And whoops. If I can get to the right screen here. Oh, right over here. And I'm going to paste it over here. There we go. And that's just a generic text. And I am going to click on Publish. So there's our second post. And I'm going to click Add, m add New to create one more. My third post. And you can call these whatever you want. And you can give them any content you want. We're just trying to create something to display here. And now we've got all three posts. Now, we also want to create some static pages. Now, a page is similar to a post, except it's something that doesn't change very often, and it's not shown chronologically. It's generally shown like in a navigation menu. So we're going to create three pages here, the first one being home because every website needs a home page I think so we're going to copy some more text over here and paste it in our home page we can even put in a little uh, welcome to my home page and if you click right here that's what that's the show hide kitchen sink button and it just shows some additional uh, um, formatting options. And we're going to give that a uh, format of heading 1. And over here, I'm going to click Sidebar Template. Now, this particular attribute is uh, theme-specific. We've got the 21 th or 2011 theme currently loaded. And so this is just an option that that particular theme gives us. But I want to do this just so that we can see some of the content beforehand. And as far as order, we're going to put it 1 because we want it to show first in the list. And click on Publish. And let's click and create a couple more pages here. 
The second one is going to be the blog page. This is the main blog page. And we're not going to add any content here because WordPress will automatically generate the content from the blog post that we've created. So it will automatically insert that in here once we change one of the other settings. And again, I'm going to, let's see, I'm going to change this order to, uh, well, I'll change it to two for now. And click on Publish. And we'll leave the default template there. And finally, let's add one more page. We'll call this About Us. And we'll get a little bit more of that uh, content, or the text filler. Allurum ipsum, fake uh, Latin. It's not real Latin, it's just fake Latin. And we're going to give this order number three. And we'll, we'll put a sidebar template as well. Okay, so we've got all that. So what does that make it look like on the front end? All right, we're going to refresh the page here. And here we see uh, we've got home listed twice. We'll take care of that in just a minute. But uh, home, blog, about us. These are the pages that we created. And right now it's still showing on the home page our blog posts. But it's, it is showing blog posts uh, 1, 2, and 3 that we created. Now, how do we get these blog posts to show on this page? Because if you click on blog, it's not showing any content. This is just the comment area. But no content in here. How do we do that? Let me show you. Okay. Uh, but before we do that, I, one thing that we want to change is the permalinks. Because if you notice over here, up here at the top, it says page ID equals 32. That doesn't, that's not any helpful information for you or for me or for search engines because if you want your uh, site to be search engine optimized or friendly then you want to change the permalinks because that's what that is, that's the permalink, it's a permanent link and we want to change it from p equals whatever random number it gives it to something a little bit more readable and like sample post or about us or home or blog or whatever you want to call it. So we're going to click on the post name. You can actually click on any of these other than default and it'll give you, you can, it'll include the date and the name or the month and the name or a numeric. But this is, I think, one of the most popular. So post name, click on save changes there. Now click on the reading link and these are the reading settings and click on static page now remember how we wanted the home page to be the front page so that when people visit our website it's the first page that they see well this is where we set that so we say make the home page the front page and let's set the blog page to be the page where all the post the blog posts display and save the changes there Okay, now let's go back and refresh here. Okay, now we see how that uh, extra home button disappeared. So now we got home, blog, about us. And the home page displays the home content. Welcome to my home page. And the blog displays the blog posts. And the about us displays the, the text filler that we put in for the about us page. So that's all working. Now we also want to create a menu. Now we you see that there was already a menu. That's automatically generated but if let's say we wanted to tweak it a little bit this is where we can do that. So uh, first we have to create a name for our menu and we're going to call this one main nav. Create that and we want to assign it as the primary menu and now we got to put some links in the menu. And we're going to click on Home, Blog, and About Us and add that to the menu. And I'm going really fast on a lot of this, so, uh, but it's stuff that most, of, most people understand anyway. And if you don't, um, well, there are a lot of tutorials out it, or just listen to the video or watch the video again. Now, here we've got all the, the three pages displayed here. And let's say we wanted to uh, have the blog listed last on the menu. We just drag and drop. It's easy, easy, easy. And then save our changes. 
So now when we go to the front end, About Us is listed second and Blog is listed third. It's that easy to change and you can change it back and forth. You can you can even create submenus that appear when you uh, Uh, if you want like a parent page and then some child pages, easy easy enough to do that, and we'll get into that in an, another episode. But that's that's what we needed to do to create the base content, so that when we create our own theme, we'll have something to display. I hope you enjoyed this initial episode zero, and uh, tune in uh, for the next episode, which we will be talking about the index php page and that is one of the two essential pages uh, or templates uh, for every wordpress theme so i look forward to seeing you then thank you